lot of time measuring and labeling circles. Now let's look at how to draw them. The tool we use to draw circles is called a compass. A compass has two legs. One leg ends in a point and we're going to use that to anchor the center point of our circle. The other leg ends in a pencil and we're going to use that side to actually draw around our circle. When we set up our compass, we want to make sure our point and our pencil are of equal length so we can twist around and draw a smooth circle. If you look at the point leg of our compass, we can see that it swings along an arch. Looking closely at that arc, you can see that there's a small ruler on it. One side of the ruler measures in inches, the other side of the ruler measures in centimeters. If you set that ruler, we can see that it measures the distance from the point to the outside edge of the circle. In other words, this ruler is going to measure the radius of our circle. So we want to go ahead and draw a circle that has a radius of one inch. That means I'm going to go ahead and set the ruler on my arc to one inch. Then I'm going to stand up my compass so that one point is anchored in the center point, then twist it around so that the pencil side draws the continuous arc of my circle. When we get all the way around, we're going to lay our compass down. Now we have our circle. Let's check to see if we did get our one inch radius. So I'm going to take my ruler and measure from the outside edge to the center point of the circle. And we see that we came out with a one inch radius on our circle. We've been asked to create a circle that has an eight centimeter diameter. Well, we've already established that our compass actually measures the radius, the distance from the center point to the outside edge of the circle. So the first thing we have to do is find the radius of that circle. Radius is half the diameter, so I'm going to divide 8 by 2, and that tells me my radius is going to be 4 centimeters. So using the centimeter side of our arc, I'm going to set it so it measures at 4 centimeters. Then I can stand my compass up, anchor it where I want the center point of my circle to be, and twist my compass around, holding my paper down so it'll go smoothly, the entire arc to create my circle. If we want to see if we measured our 8 centimeters correctly, we're going to take our ruler, We'll set zero on the outside edge, pass through the middle, and when we do, we can see that we land at eight centimeters on the other side of the circle. The distance from one edge through the middle to the outside edge of the circle is our diameter. So we created a circle that has an eight centimeter diameter. Check out the other videos in our playlist and don't forget to click on subscribe. Thanks for watching.